All right, welcome to the channel. So it is time to start doing some vehicle reviews on all the brand new vehicles, one vehicle at a time. That means one video at a time as this is gonna be a little bit lengthy. So this is the brand new Yosemite 1500 that just came into the game. And this can be located in the Southern San Andreas section for $1,205,000. That's not talking about the upgrade cost that's uh, gonna be taking place here in this video. So first things first, we're gonna be taking this into the LS car meet, which we're already at. We're gonna be upgrading this in the garage. And then after that, we're gonna be taking this bad boy on out to the road. It is pink, so maybe it's a girl, I don't know. Here we go. So first things first, uh, we're just gonna go through here and make sure this thing is fully upgraded and then show you all of the modifications in which this vehicle can be attached to. So right here, probably gonna go with that one, I don't know. I like that beefy uh, front bumper there. Oh, that one's even better. No, I'm probably gonna go with the purple one. No, I'll just leave it. Hold on, we're going back. No, nope, we're getting the purple one. There you go. All right, now the bumper's in the back. About the same. Oh, right there, we're going with the purple. I like that the best. Then there's a modded purple. Move on down the line here. Exhaust pipes. Where are these suckers going? Oh, that's kind of cool right there. I like that. So this is supposed to be like a little bit of an off-road vehicle. We will be taking this off-road and on-road as well. And I'll be talking about the performance of this vehicle and then giving you my rating basically at the end to let you know, like, is this vehicle even worth it? Uh, just keep going through the modifications here for the grill got to make sure our grill is made to kill because that's what we're gonna be hitting people and mowing them over with right now let's check out the hoods here I like the purple one though yeah I like that purple color it's like purple and pink I don't know this is a modded vehicle I picked up from uh, one of my subscribers crew members the other day when we did a car show look at that dude you can <laughs> That's crazy that you can put a giant engine like popping up. No, I don't like that. I like the purple. It's either purple or pink. I think we're going to go with that purple. All right, next thing's next. Uh, just going down to the ones that actually matter. So here's the liveries right here. So let's see what type of liveries it actually has to offer. That one's kind of cool right there. I like that. Might end up going with that. Yeah, that one's cool. I'm going to put that on there. And here's another one right here. Another one. Eh, decent. Who's this one? Kind of like a weird camo or something. Another one. So, yeah, let me down, uh, know down in the comment sections below. What is your favorite livery for this vehicle? I chose mine. It's going to be this one right here, I think. It looks the coolest with these colors. The pink and the purple. The F1s and everything. All right, so three mirrors. We get... Oh my god. Well, I guess. Alright, keep moving down here to the next section. Yeah, right here. Roll cages, dude. We want to put a roll cage in the back for sure, right? No, not that one. The cool one. Without the gas or with the gas? We're going to go with the jerry cans, I think. Alright, what else is next? So this is like a sun strip right here. I always go with the sun strip because like it makes the front window just a little bit more bulletproof. So you would hope that like if somebody's shooting at you, they, they would miss and hit the sun strip and not your, your face. All right, so for skirts too, you can notice like I'm not gonna put one of those on there because it like, it puts something, I don't know. It seems like I could get like stuck with that skirt on there. So we're not doing that. And then of course, of course, the truck had to come with spoilers because this is not like your normal pickup truck, right? This is more like a rally off-road, you know. And no, we're not we're not going to use suspension either. I think we're just about done here almost. Not going to worry about the window tint nor the wheels. This is all modded. Got some F1 sitting on here. Pink and purple colors. So pretty cool. Now that this thing is fully modded, let's take it outside real quick so we can test the performance of the vehicle, which we're mainly just looking at three things here, which is going to be like top speed, acceleration, and handling. And for the handling, dude, it's like on it. You know, if you like pickup trucks, this is definitely a truck that you should be getting just right out of the bat. This, uh, 
I would say the acceleration and the top speed are probably not going to be, of course, as fast as uh, one of the other legendary cars that came into the game, of course. But for an off-road vehicle, for a pickup truck or something like that, once again, if you're like one of those players out there that loves trucks, I have like a good friend. He loves trucks. So I know that he's going to eventually be getting this pickup truck and, uh, you know, modding it or something like that or potentially buying it over at the LS Car Meet or something. And, uh, yeah, taking this thing off-road, once again, this does not have off-road tires. It's got F1s. And just to let you know, too, like, if you didn't know this, yes, tires do matter in the game. You know, just like if I was trying to climb up this mountain with some low grips or something like that, we'd have a terrible time trying to do that. So I can just imagine, yeah, if you did go with the off-road tires, you might see a little bit of, like, uh, performance boost if you go, uh, like, off-road, you know, up mountains and stuff like that, like I'm trying to do right now. Just testing the performance out of this. Come on, we can get up this rock, right? Come on, go! Go! Oh, oh man, I made it! That's awesome. This is a really good off-road vehicle, you guys. This is the brand new Yosemite 1500, once again, going for just a tiny bit over the $1.2 million mark. So if you own this vehicle already, you're going to have to let me know down in the comment sections below. Do you end up liking this vehicle? I like this vehicle right out of the gate. I think this is a really fun vehicle. The only thing I don't like about this vehicle is it's only a two-door and not a four-door, and you can't shove two more friends necessarily into the back. But other than that, it's a really good vehicle. I give it two thumbs up, you know, like seven out of ten or something like that. So if you got the extra money and you like pickup trucks you might want to think about picking this up because it's decently okay uh it's fun to drive so anyways from there if you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful in any way be sure to hit the like button subscribe for new content turn on those post notifications and thank you all for watching my name is gravesite and i'll see you on the next one so peace